So let's get into uh, just, just an overview here of our clinic. Okay, you're talking about a 3-4. We're a 3-4 defense. Okay, I coach the outside linebackers. We've got an inside linebackers coach. We've got a defensive line coach that coaches our end, nose, and tackle. And then we have a secondary coach. Okay, so our five-man pressures today we're going to discuss is, is a bear. Okay, it's a middle pressure by both backers. Okay, and we're playing three under three deep coverage. The second one is uh, odd front. Uh, we call it copperhead. It's a weak side edge pressure. Okay, been really successful here for us. Okay, we're going to talk about the zone principles. Okay, of three under three deep. Okay, you got to anticipate quick game. You bring in five man pressure, so you got to expect that ball to come out quickly. So you got to slow down your corners. You got to slow down your 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 seam flat defenders. Okay, we have two seam flat defenders. Okay, they're going to relate to number two receivers on their side. You're going to have one final three player. Okay, in the middle of, uh, in the middle of the field, underneath coverage wise. And then you have a three deep shell. Okay, your your typical three deep shell there. Okay. So seam flat defenders. Okay, they're the edge of the defense. They're flat defenders. So you're talking football one on one. Any form of flat defender is typically the edge of your defense. Okay, from a perimeter standpoint. Okay, so the seam flat defender is your edge. Okay. On the snap of the football, he's going to look up his coverage or move towards his coverage first. Okay, so he's more of a pass first mentality, he's slow to go. I got to look up the intentions of that number two receiver. Okay, I got to align for success. You can disguise a little bit, but at the end of the day, before that ball snapped, I got to put myself in position to execute my technique and be successful. Our alignment typically. As a seam flat defender, we're going to relate to number two receiver. We're going to be one by five inside. Okay, five yards off the man, one yard inside of uh, is our leverage. Okay, don't give up the inside release by number two. Okay, we don't want to give him a vertical inside release that puts pressure on our corners when he's playing divider. We'll talk about divider technique. We want to kind of get hands on that guy. Okay, we want to reroute. Okay, that number two receiver if he goes vertical. Okay. Number two goes under, we pass it off. Okay, we locate the new number two. Okay, the two, three exchange. Two, your, two new, new, your new number two could come out of the backfield. It could come in the form of a backside crosser. If number two goes out, okay, we call it V drop. We're going to get that first. Get our eyes back to the quarterback. What's his intentions? Is his intentions to me? Is he away from me? Okay, and we'll melt off his, his intentions through there. Okay, we're going to work through the dig in number one or the curl in number one if two goes out. Okay, we got to pack it in. We want to protect the seams, the curls, the dig areas first. Okay, it's a, you know, three under three deep. It's a cover three concept. The ball should be thrown to the flats, and we rally to it. That's where the ball needs to be thrown. Okay, so uh, can't allow seam balls, can't allow digs. We want the balls to be thrown in the flats, keep it in front of us. Hopefully our five-man pressure gets home. Final three defender, okay, your, your low hole player, okay, he's involved in a run fit, okay, he's got to show up when the ball shows up, okay, he's going to clean his cleats, okay, we're, we're bringing a blitz pattern up front, we're, we're slanting guys, we're bringing, you know, we're, we're doing some twist games, whatever it may be, okay, he's just got to keep his depth, clean his cleats, if that ball's handed off, he's got to keep his depth and show up when the ball shows up. Be patient, right? Look up his coverage on the snap. He's involved in a run game. Typically, he's going to relate to number three. So typically, it could be a back in the backfield. Maybe it's a tight end. Uh, trips formation. He's got to relate to that guy. Okay? He's, got to, he's got to cheat his alignment to that man. Okay? And then it's zone drop principles from there. Okay? So relate to your coverage. Get your eyes back to the quarterback and read his intentions. Okay, our outside third de defenders. Could be a corner. Could be a safety if we roll the coverage. Okay? They're going to align one by seven outside leverage, okay? Uh, make it look the same, okay? As our corners alignments here, we make our corners look the same. One by seven, okay, regardless of what coverage we're in, we'll move post-snap. They're going to midpoint between number one and number two receivers, okay? They're going to be slow pedal. They're keen to quarterback for quick game. We're bringing five-man pressure, so we got to anticipate that ball coming out fast. So they don't want to get out of there quickly. They got a slow pedal. Okay, you could scooch out of there. Then, you know, then uh, uh, as it becomes drop back, you can speed it up. Don't jump the quick in number one until you have checked 
what number two is doing. Okay, got to have vision on number two. Okay, we can't jump the, the hitch of number one, then they run the smash route or, or corner ball by number two. Okay, number two vertical, get depth, work to midpoint. Okay, quarterback, get your eyes on the quarterback, get ready to drive the flats. Okay, number two disappears, eyes go to number one. Number two under, okay, number two flat, okay, look up number one. Okay, if number two is flat, stay on top of number one, but see number two. Okay, all right, number two flat, number one vertical. A lot of times they run the wheel route of number two. You gotta see that. You still gotta make, you guys still gotta play midpoint. So our corner is gonna play the wheel route of number two. All right, so he's gotta see number two as he sinks for depth. Any single rec receiver side. Okay, number five here, bullet point number five. Okay, any single receiver detach, base or press. Okay, you can play base or you can press it. We call it man unless. Okay, I have that man to the single receiver side as a corner unless he goes under. Okay, at the end of the day. Otherwise, I'm matching up. Point six, any two verticals in your zone, you're going to midpoint. So one and two vertical, I'm going to midpoint those guys. Okay, with zone eyes. All right. Single width, meaning a nub formation. Okay, I'm going to line one by seven outside. I'm going to tilt flat foot stance, and I'm going to run support guy. Okay, if you get a nub, uh, if you're on the nub side as a corner, as a third defender. Okay. Middle of the field defender. Okay, talking about cover three, right? Three D. Talk about the underneath guys. Let's talk about the middle of the field defender here. Okay, safety, typically going to be a safety. It could be a corner if you roll your coverage, like I said. Okay, safety is going to try to hold that too high look as long as possible. Okay, typically in three under three deep, we're going to roll down a safety as a seam flat defender. Okay, or even as a uh, final three player, low hole player. Work to the middle of the field. Okay, roughly 12 to 15 yards. If the ball is in the middle of the field, we're going to line over the ball. Okay. The ball's on the hash, okay, we're going to align, okay, middle of the goal post. Okay, middle of the field is the goal post, okay, or the near goal post, all right. Three by one, nub formation, align on the upright to the passing strength, okay, align on the upright, okay, of the passing strength. So we're cheating to that trip side in a nub formation, okay, we're to the speed. We're going to cross over run on the snap, okay? We're going to start cheating out of there. We're going to cross over run to get our depth, okay? To put ourselves in by alignment in relationship to our landmark and the goal post based on where the football is, like we just discussed. Okay, we're going to pedal deep as the deepest, okay? Weave with quarterback vision, okay? Quarterback's intentions, stay in your pedal. All right, trust it. Break when the ball's thrown, okay? You've got to keep everything in front. 